YouTube, what is up? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Back with another video for you guys today, man. But before we get into it, if you're new here, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the anonymous sneakerhead family. Join the channel. If you do join before this Friday, there currently is a giveaway going right now. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you will see today that there is an opportunity to get your second entry, but to get your first entry, you gotta be subscribed, you gotta follow the Instagram, and I am giving away 12 of these drop front containers. Also, make sure that you go ahead and smash that like button, really helps with the algorithms, helps bring more people to the channel, you know what I'm saying, helps us hit our goals and just keep growing the channel. And then last but not least, make sure that you follow the Instagram at Anonymous Sneakerhead. You get a lot of information up there first, polls, stories, kicks of the day, things like that. Now, you guys read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you know what it is. I have a rant for y'all today, and I am ranting about these UNC Jordan 4s that are coming out, I believe, in February, maybe March. Um, I got my dates mixed up with a lot of shoes right now. But I want to rant about these right now, and I talked about them a little bit in my Sneaker Talk episode. Um, I talked about them a little bit on my Instagram, but I have more uh, subscribers on YouTube than I do followers on Instagram, so I want to get this out here, man. Stop comparing these UNC 4s to the damn Travis Scott 4s. They are not the same. They're not related in any way. It's completely different. I get it. Last year, you guys wanted to compare the Mocha ones to the Travis Scott ones. Cool, you could do that. You can make that comparison for the same color, same color scheme, different color blocking. Okay, make that comparison. Even earlier in the year last year, a lot of people forgot about these. And then going back to 2019, we had the Melody Asani Air, Mat, or Air Jordan 1 Mid come out. And then we had the light bulb Air Jordan 1 Mid that came out at the beginning of 2020. And people like, these are the, the broke man's Melody Asani's. Cool, make that comparison. Go ahead and make that comparison. Even the Mushroom 4s that came out, I think the beginning of last year or the end of 2019, there was the Mushroom 4s and Just Women's. And then there's the Brown 4s that are coming out later this year. And people are like, oh, these are just the broke man, Travis Scott, friends and family 4s. They're making that comparison. Awesome. Go ahead and make that comparison. But these UNC 4s are in no way, shape, or form related to the Travis Scott 4s. They're not. The UNC 4s, if anything, are more related to these 5s, to these Michigan 5s or the great 5s back there. Because as you can see on the tongue, the thing that a lot of people don't like about those fucking shoes is the heel tab that they have hanging off the side of the tongue there is the same one that they have on the fucking heel here. They have it on the heel of those 5s. The, um... Oregon Fives, and if you guys remember back to the beginning of last year, I sold my pairs of them already, but the UNC3 had the same fucking tag on the inside, the tag that says quality, uh, what does it say, quality products inspired by the greatest basketball player ever, it said that shit on the, on the um, insole of the UNC3, it says it on the heel of the Fives, that's what they're doing when they're going to colleges. If you want to make any fucking comparison at all, like you compared the, not necessarily these because there was a blue Michigan 5, but like you compared these to the uh, Oregon PE 5, right? Everyone wanted to make that comparison. Cool. You can make that comparison to those, right? That's what the shoe is fucking about. You can make the, the Michigan comparison to a Michigan um, colorway, right? If you want to compare these UNC 4s to anything, you have to compare them to the UNC 4 PEs, the all blue with like the translucent splatter paint uh, wing going up the side and the, and the splatter paint on the heel. And they also made them for a bunch of other schools. So I think there's a University of Florida one as well. That's what you have to compare it to. The only reason why people are comparing these shits to the Travis Scott 4s is because they want to jack the resale value on them and dumbasses are going to believe them. If you were really that blind that you could compare them and you're going to pay an exponential amount of money for them, that's your dumb fault. Nike in and of itself, Nike, when Nike makes shoes, they know what they're doing. When they made the Mocha ones, they knew these are Travis Scott adjacent. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get people who like the Travis Scott ones to buy these Mocha ones. When they made the light bulb, the light bulb mids, they were like, these are Melody Asani adjacent. We're trying to get people who didn't get the Melody Asanis to buy these. When they made the um, the mushroom fours, they were like, these are Travis Scott friends and family adjacent, just like they did with the brown fours that are coming out this year. We're trying to get those people to buy those. Um, even even thinking back even further with the um, the JDI or the Just Do It Air Force Ones that had the Just Do It patches and shit everywhere and the exposed foam and all of that, da, 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 da. they were like, these are uh, off-white adjacent, you know what I'm saying? Let's try to get 
you know what I'm saying, for the people that don't have the off-white Air Forces to get these. Even they did it this year with the Unions and um, the Light Smoke Gray Ones. The Light Smoke Gray Ones are a dope shoe by themselves, just like these UNC 4s coming up are a dope shoe by themselves. But that Light Smoke Gray Jordan 1, one of the best Jordan 1 colorways of 2020, is a Union-adjacent Jordan 1. It is. That's why it's cut in half and it has the exposed foam on the top, just like the Unions. It's Union adjacent. These UNC 4s have not a goddamn thing to do with the Travis Scott 4s. The Travis Scott 4s, first of all, are not blue and white. They're blue and red. They have the red heel collar for a reason. Travis Scott is from Houston. So for all for those of you fucking hype beasts that just buy shit because you know everyone else likes Travis Scott, I'm going to give you a fucking history lesson right there that will explain why these colorways come to be in the first place. For those of you dumbasses who just buy the shit because your homie likes it, the Travis Scott 4s are the color that they are because Travis Scott is from Houston. The Tennessee Titans, who used to be the Houston Oilers, wore uniforms that are that color. Matter of fact, if you look at Houston's basketball jerseys right now, the H-Town jerseys are a throwback to the Houston Oilers for all of you hype beasts out there who don't know what the fuck is going on. The Travis Scott 4s are for the Houston Oilers. UNC has nothing to do with the fucking Houston Oilers. Do they both have that kind of light bluish? Yes. Carolina blue is very different than that Oiler blue, first of all. Second of all, the UNC 4s, suede is a lot longer. Most of you have never even touched a pair of Travis Scott 4s in your life. Never even seen them in person. The suede on them things is trash. I wouldn't even call it suede. I'm not sure what the material on that is. Also, if you look at the wings right there, it's a black wing on the Travis Scott 4 with like a darker blue splatter. If you look at the UNC 4s, the UNC 4s that are coming out are basically, to me, um, outside of any college PE, the shoe that it's most uh, reminiscent of is the white cement 4. It is the exact same color blocking as the white cement 4, um, has the exact same wing as the white cement 4 does, and the same midsole splatter as the white cement 4 does. Has this, it has a cement pattern. That's a completely different thing. There's a difference between a cement pattern and a splatter. The Travis Scott 4s have a splatter. The UNC 4s have a cement. Also, the Travis Scott 4s have this blue and grayish tongue. The UNC 4s have a white tongue with the shit hanging off the side, which I'll probably exacto knife off of there. A lot of people will probably do it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Get that out of there. But bro, I'm sick and tired of people making this fucking comparison. I am sick and tired of people, you know what I'm saying? Whoever the, the fucking dude is, um, whoever it is that they look up to that gives them permission to like certain things, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of you weirdos in the sneaker community that only like things when someone else gives you permission to. They're like, oh yeah, these are like the Travis Scott 4s. They're nothing like the Travis Scott 4s, bro. I'm sick of hearing it. Stop making that comparison. You know what I'm saying? All right, you know what? You know what? It's cool. If those are like the Travis Scott 4s, that's cool. I'm going to start saying that these are, are the fucking Tokyo 5s, all right? These are the Tokyo 5s now because you want to say those UNC 4s are Travis Scott's? Nah, these are no longer um, the Inspire or Michigan and Jason. No, these are Tokyo 5s now since so y'all want the damn UNC 4s to be fucking Travis Scott's. That's what we'll start doing now, all right? So these are now Tokyo 4s. Those are fucking Travis Scott 4s, and we'll do that. We'll just take anything that's kind of close to anything and say, you know what? Nah, we're just gonna call it what we wanna call it. Matter of fact, these aren't even these aren't even the Tokyo fives. These are the Fab Five Fives. You know what I'm saying? These are the Fab the Fab Five pair. You know what I mean? With the black on it and the five down. And these are for the Fab Five, the P E P E. All right. You know what I'm saying? And then go back. I'm gonna go grab a pair of the Win Like 86 Jordan 11s and say that these are the Blake Griffin 11s. If that's what y'all wanna do, just because it's the same. It has one of the same colors on there. You know what? You know what? Matter of fact, I got these. Uh, let's see. I'll take these right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna take these Jordan ones right here, and since they have black laces on them, you know what I'm saying? It has the same color laces. They got black laces. I'm gonna say that these are just the cheap uh, Chicago ones. Is that what we want to do? We want to take anything that has one color, not even Chicago's. You know what? It has white on it right there. It got white on the toe part. I'm going to say that these are the black toes. Is that what we're going to do now, bro? Does that make sense at all? That's what we're doing. Just because something looks anything alike. You sound like the white people to say every black person look the same. You talking about these damn shoes, bro. I'm sick of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm going to end this video off. I don't want this video to go too long. I'm sick and tired of people making these bullshit ass comparisons. Y'all letting these resellers make comparisons so you'll pay more for the shit. 
when Nike made this shoe, they did not give a fuck about Travis. They were not thinking about Travis Scott at all. They were thinking about Travis Scott when they were designing these damn, the brown fours that are coming out later for their friends and family pair. But you know what I'm saying? Just like the, just like I said, just like the one like 8611, you can't be like, oh, those are like the fucking Blake Griffins, the one or what? No, it's fucking not. But, ah, I'm sick of this shit. I'm not talking about this shit no more. That's it, man. Like I said, if you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Join the Anonymous Sneakerhead family. Join the channel. There currently is a giveaway going on. Go click on the channel down below. The pinned video will tell you the rules for the um, for the giveaway, how to enter, all of that stuff. It's also up on my Instagram. And then for people who've already entered to get your second entry, you know what I'm saying? I'll be putting that up today. And I will be drawing the winners for that. Um, I believe Friday is the 8th. I think Friday's the 8th. Maybe Saturday. Whatever day the 8th is. Um, I will be drawing the winners for that. Um, also, make sure that, I mean, if you made it this far, you were entertained. So make sure that you go ahead and smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? Helps with the algorithm, helps bring more people to the channel, helps bring more people um, to help us grow, man. Help us hit our goals. And then last but not least, follow the Instagram, at Anonymous Sneakerhead. A lot of information up there first. Polls, stories, questions, kicks of the day, stuff like that. I also told you guys that there will be the second chance entry for the uh drop fronts coming up this friday that'll be posted on there today um by the time you see this video it'll already be up there so just go and um pay attention to what you got to do there but that is it for this video you guys i am the most mysterious sneaker youtuber in the game stop making these bullshit ass comparisons and never forget it's all about the sneakers